Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Thursday, February 7th. Yes, February, February the 7th of February, February of the 7th, yes. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is not specific to love, career, signs, whatever. This is just what spirit wants to discuss with us today, yes? Energies are fluid. This could happen today. This could be something that you've been going through. This could be something that you went through in the past. Who knows? Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Yeah? All right, cool. Let's just get straight into it, guys. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today. Thursday. February 7th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Alrighty, guys. So let's just get like, some shuffles in here and we'll see what we've got. Get this. Just two more shuffles. Actually, okay, now we're going to give that two more shuffles. <laughs> anyway, I hope everyone's having a good week. It's been an interesting one for sure. Um, interesting energies. But still, I mean, I would say it's been a good week. All right, one last shuffle. Whoops, 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 whoopsie, poopsie. All right. So let's see what we've got for today. Thursday, February 7th. Thursday, February 7th. Huh. There we go. Okay, so far we've got the Knight of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. See what else we got for today. Thursday, February 7, 2019. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. All right. Underneath the deck, we have the sun. Well, that sure is nice. Please excuse the manicure, guys. I have to redo my nails. And I straight up, like, just knocked out last night. I was planning on doing them, but it just did not happen. Let's see what else we have here. Okay. Wow. This is a lot here. This, is, this sure is a lot. Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. That was the first thing to come out. Then we had the Page of Swords, the Hierophant, and the Page of Pentacles all in reverse. Interesting. This, is, this sure is a lot. We have Temperance, Eight of Swords, Justice, Four of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords, and Divine Wisdom. My, my, my. <clears throat> Let's just take a second to take all this in, because this sure is a lot. <laughs> hmm. Okay, someone... The biggest thing... Okay, we're going to start at the top here with the Knight of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. The Knight of Swords is a really aggressive energy. And I feel like somebody is just holding on to some sort of aggression that they may have. And yet not really communicating about it. Even though the Knight of Swords is of communication, 
the way this woman is holding her neck here, you see that? It's almost as if she's like choking her, well, she's like trying not to speak for some. Um, yeah, I'm getting a fair amount of immaturity here with this because then coupled with the page of swords the hierophant and the page of pentacles in reverse this is someone yep this is someone that um isn't the most mature uh doesn't really know how to communicate effectively um isn't very honest isn't very stable well isn't very committed isn't really into much of a commitment with the page of pentacles in reverse Excuse me. Um, now, with the Hierophant in reverse here, that's talking about learning. Whereas up, upright, it would be teaching. But there is a lesson that's being learned here. There's also... Wow. If you've been dealing with someone who's very much tr a traditionalist in a sense. They're not pulling away from that. And they're basically, what I'm getting is that they're really, they're very, very willing to defend that. Now, I'm not, not to pass judgment and I'm not encouraging that one pass judgment um, because someone's lifestyle is their lifestyle. You know, you can, you, why pass judgment on someone for that? I mean, if, they're, if, if part of their lifestyle is passing judgment on you, okay, I can understand why you might be upset with them, but for you to pass judgment <clears throat> on them for their lifestyle is literally the same thing they would be doing to you. So why do it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so then here we have the second section. This has been coming out a lot lately where it's been like, we're talking about two different people here. But in this other section here, this could be you. Honestly, both of these sides could be you. Or this could be someone else that you're dealing with. Or this, you know, or just, you know, one side could be you. Take, take it as, as it resonates. But this second section here, you have temperance, five of pentacles, eight of swords, ten of swords, justice, seven of swords, four of cups, the divine wisdom. I do feel like there was some sort of rejection here in this situation. And I believe the rejection came from this party up here. For those of you that this resonates with. And it may have been a situation in which they, they were initiating things because they had the Page of Swords energy with the Page of Pentacles energy. And the Hierophant could have been, maybe they did want some sort of commitment. Maybe they were looking for that. But now, <laughs> things have changed somehow for some reason. Again, take it as it resonates. Things have changed and they've kind of gone on the defensive, it looks like between with the four of pentacles and the knight of swords and it may also just be that they're taking they may be maybe they're just taking a break you know from the situation from the connection but then you have this other energy here or may potentially this other person who is in a very much a balancing stage in their life in general with temperance here, okay? Even though this could symbolize um, the energies of, you know, tempering, coming into balance after potentially being rejected here with the Five of Pentacles or f like feeling rejected from the situation. I just heard long-term goals. So I do feel like this, and this, this energy here in this bottom row um, has, it's all part of the process. And now you, this person, 
down here has really just come out of a major situation. Or there could be some circumstances that could be holding you back. Ten of Swords, Eight of Swords. Or it's just that You've come out of, out of a major situation recently that had you very much trapped in a sense or you felt very much trapped in this situation. Okay, this could be a love relationship. This could be um, a friendship. It could be a marriage. I'm hearing for some of you it's a marriage. Um, it was a major completion. It could be job. It really, it, honestly, it really could be anything. But anything that was a major lesson for you and here you have justice with the seven of swords. But you see, this justice is here. But it's not, I guess it's deceitful in the sense that it's not the way, <laughs> it's not what you think it is. It might be, a, a, it might be a sort of backhanded victory Backhanded victory, that's not even a thing. Backhanded comments, sure, but I don't know, like, but it's not like you, this is hard to describe. It's like, it's it's an indirect victory. Like, it's a victory, but it's kind of like, mm, I don't know, it's kind of leaving a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth situation. Okay, but this person here, it's funny because I feel like you know this. Whoever I'm, whoever this person is down here, I feel like you already know what this victory is. Because with, with the Four of Cups and Divine Wisdom, now the Four of Cups, they can talk about a missed opportunity, unrequited love. Um, and that totally makes sense because it does feel like this person down here has been rejected somehow. But the Divine Wisdom card coupled with the Four of Cups, especially the way the Four of Cups is depicted here, it looks like this person is very balanced emotionally, okay? Or they're at least working on balancing their emotions. And then coupled with Divine Wisdom, this is like looking at the bigger picture, seeing, seeing deeper into the situation, understanding more about it from an energetic level rather than just on the surface. Understanding almost like the psychology of the situation. This sun card is intriguing in light of all of this. Because with this person here, there, this person on top, okay, uh, uh, the, the energy in the top of the reading, this first row of energies here, I feel like it's not like this person is really going away. It's just that they're not, they maybe aren't communicating, even though you have this Knight of Swords energy. This Knight of Swords energy just feels like a bodyguard. That's just like being on the defensive. Not really trying to communicate here. So it's like this person isn't, isn't fully hasn't fully gone away you may still associate with this person you may still see this person around you may still work with this person who i don't know whatever but i think everything's going to be okay with the sun Maybe it just didn't turn out the way you wanted, but ultimately here, because this person down here on the bottom has justice with temperance. So it's more a situation. I mean, that's a lot of balance. And I feel like you're either, this person down here is either really balancing out or um, is in the process of gaining some greater balance or... Um, has achieved a greater sense of balance and understands deeper, understands the situation a bit deeper than might have been expected. 
than you have maybe even expected of yourself. I just don't, I don't get all that bad of a vibe. Now this person up here may have been really hasty and all of a sudden it's just kind of like, whoa, okay, wait, hold on, back up. I take it back, which is kind of shitty, not gonna lie, but hey. All right, it's clarification time. I wanna move, go back to the Crystal Visions deck here. I miss this deck, I love it. I love it. We're gonna start, now keep in mind guys, this is a general reading. So, you know, take this as it resonates. This could be two different people, this could be one person. You know, I could just, this could be all what you're going through or this could be two people. But, I wanna start with the energies on the top of the reading here. We're just gonna get some clarification. I'm give this one more shuffle. Oh, my sage just kicked back up. Okay, so these top energies here. Just some clarification, please, spirit. Hmm, okay. Well, that's good. Interesting. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. So underneath the deck, we have a four. We have the four of cups. So, yes, we have an unrequited love situation here, which is unfortunate. Uh, but the thing about it is, the Five of Swords did come out, and that came out in reverse here. So I really do feel like this person is not trying to fight you. Or if you are this person, you're not trying to fight someone else. Three of Pentacles, though, it, this is a matter of... Uh, of um, Self-mastery. It really is. I feel like the reason, the big reason why, or the biggest reason why this is maybe a missed opportunity or some sort of unrequited love situation is because this person is realizing that they need to work on themselves more. I feel like for some of you, you might inspire this person or, or like may have triggered this person to be like, oh God, who am I? What am I doing with my life? <laughs> Something like that. Um, this could be in work, you know, this doesn't have to be necessarily just be in love, but in work, this could be like you, you are shining a light and influencing someone to be a better team player to lay down the swords of competition and one-upmanship and actually like work together there may have been a good deal a hefty deal of competition in the past but some sort of unrequited love or realization or maybe even rejection has caused that to change. Okay. Let's clarify this under other energy here. Energy B. Temperance, five of pentacles. Eight of Swords, Ten of Swords, Justice, Seven of Swords, Four of Cups, Divine Wisdom. Yeah, the Justice and the Seven of Swords are jumping out at me saying this is more of a victory than you think. This is more, this is bringing greater balance to some sort of situation. Oh, yeah, okay. And then with the energy up top here, there's like, there. there 
there isn't any aggression. There isn't really any fighting. Nobody wants to fight. But there is a team involved of some sort. It's either a team involvement or self-mastery. But yeah, unrequited love, for sure. Four of Cups. Twice, actually. It came out for the person down here, and now it's come out for this person up here, who doesn't want to fight, but wants to continue to be a team player of sorts in some situations. Depend, you know, take it as it resonates. But yeah, this is potentially, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so this second person down here, or this second energy, so let's get some clarification. It really is more of a victory than you think for this person. Well, victory. I don't know about victory. Seven of Swords. Oof. Again. Wow, that's it. With the chariot. Wow. Wow. There's some sort of deception going on here for this energy. And again, this is a general reading, so it, it may not be two separate people, but that's the biggest thing that I'm getting here. And literally, guys, the only thing that came out as a clarifier is the freaking Seven of Swords again. Sir, honey. But then underneath the deck, you have the chariot. So, and it's funny because as I was, I was, I was saying this again the last time, it's more of a victory than you think. It's, but it's not necessarily a victory. It could be a victory. Justice is, is leading me towards saying this. There really is some sort of, good golly. I, I, wanna, I wanna get some clarification. I wanna get some greater clarification, but I'm gonna use a different deck here. I'm gonna use the old unicorns. Cause like, cause now the seven of swords has come out twice. I wanna, I wanna know what this, clar what this seven of swords, this deception is. I mean, what I'm getting, what I'm getting already is that this person down here, well, whoever has been rejected, who, wherever this, you know what I mean, with this unrequited love, whole, this whole thing. There is a greater sense of balance that's coming into play in your life, and I really feel like with the Seven of Swords here twice you just you really don't even have to worry about it you just have to keep going just keep moving forward like i said I'm cha i've been i was channeling that this is more of a victory than you think but let's just clarify this here seven of swords but what's, what is going on with this person down here spirit nothing again you guys saw that right Nothing. Wow. Victory is at hand here. Now what's underneath the deck is the two of swords. But and that's just speaking to a refusal to see something or not being able to see something clearly. And I guess what Spirit is saying is some of you are refusing to see that you're good no matter what. I feel so weird just leaving it like that. But I, but I just shuffled up a whole other deck and, and, and nothing came out. And y'all have seen how like things have just like the whole, like half the deck will fall out sometimes, but that time, so I'm just gonna leave it there. It feels weird. 
Oh, but then wait, there's that other, there's the other factor here that represents some sort of victory. The sun. Things are much better than you think. This person, honestly, this person may not be really all that trustworthy up here, to be quite honest. He just feels, he or she, they feel immature. Like they're not even ready for a real commitment. Even though they may say they want it, they may act like they want it with the Hierophant here. Page of Swords and the Page of Pentacles and the Hierophant, all three of those are in reverse. So yes, that could symbolize maybe they're not willing to give you that or it just it basically it feels like they're not ready for it. They're holding on to an old way of life and they're really I feel like they're pretty they're really quite rooted in it because this Knight of Swords energy just feels like a guard dog. Like they're going to just defend it with all they have. <sighs> okay. Um, Oracle Guidance. I don't know where I want to... Whispers of Love. Okay, we're going to start there. This is kind of an icky message. Mm -hmm. But... better than you think God's rejection is God's protection right hmm. it really honestly this really does feel better than you think um, you have the chariot here no it really could be in all honesty it really could be that things are not as they seem. It's just that things are hidden from you. And that could be that could be what the Seven of Swords is really saying. Right. Okay. Let's talk about this. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do the Oracle in a second, but I, I just wanna break this down a little bit. Cause you see how the Seven of Swords has fallen. This, it came out, it fell out this way. It fell over here on Temperance, Five of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Eight of Swords. This person down here really could be thinking, oh, this situation is over. When in reality, it's much better than you think. You could be deceiving yourself here, Temperance, uh, in thinking that it's, it's, the situation's done. I mean, it's a general reading, so take it as it resonates. But that what's, what's leading me to say that is I'm looking over here at the chariot, and it's like, well, wait a second. That feels good. Things really are moving forward. Maybe they are moving forward energetically, and you just really don't know it. Like, you're not seeing the physical evidence right now. Conversely now, if it is over, I feel like there's some sort of deception here that's making it much better than you think, like I've been saying. Like, again, rejection is God's protection. You really could be dodging a bullet here. And you have the ability to move forward with the chariot, move forward quickly, which is why I'm like, it really, regardless of what the specific circumstances are, this is n really not as bad as you think, period. Okay, Whispers of Love, Oracle, here. Okay. Best message, please, Spirit. See? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Underneath the deck you have, love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provide, wow, I can't read this morning. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. That's beautiful. 
But then you have card number six, be willing to express love. When we express love, we begin to receive more love. And you have card number 26, new love. Embrace this opportunity of love that is here. This may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth. Now, definitely could pertain to both. Spiritual growth, it could be that, you know, you're really like, you're seeing the wisdom in this situation here. You're seeing much deeper into the situation than you may have in the past. This could also be the fact that this situation is very, very new. So you just, you have to be patient with it. Temperance, justice, there's a lot of balance that's happening here. And you potentially could be deceiving yourself by thinking it's over when it hasn't, when it hasn't necessarily even had a chance to get off the ground yet. <laughs> Literally, um, Take a Chance on Me by ABBA just started playing in my head. I don't know which side of the equation is saying that. It could be, it really could be either side. So take it as it resonates. Okay. <laughs> so now... We're gonna go with the Crystal Mandala deck to close out the reading. Now also, this new love could mean, could symbolize that some that this situation may fall away, giving rise to a new one coming through. Um, that's entirely possible. Best message, please, Spirit. To close out our reading today, Descending Power. Ascended Master Lao Tzu and Zinkite. It's card number 28, which is a 10. Oops, wrong book. Okay, here we go. Descending power. We bring you the blessing of descending power. This is the powerful downward current of energy that allows for manifestation for strengthening of the spiritual connection to the body and of bringing ye your light to the earth. In the spiritual tradition, there is much emphasis on energy rising, yet without the balance of descending power, you will feel lost in your mind, scattered in your th thinking and frustrated in your efforts to see the inspired ideas you receive translated into completed tasks in the physical world. The uprising power helps you shift frequencies and access inspiration, whilst the descending power helps you to ground and helps you ground to create. There is a time and a place for both the rising and the descending currents of divine energy. You are guided to attend at this time to the descending power to make best progress on your life's journey. Let's see if we can get a little bit more here. Okay, I'm going to read this. There are entire modalities in the spiritual path dedicated to the rising of vital energies from the lower to the upper chakras. For this, I'm oh, sorry, for those that are anchored in the material world, can't cannot connect with genuine inner, inner feeling of the heart, lack sensitivity to subtle energies, and perhaps have closed off their minds to worlds of spirit beyond what they can perceive through their five senses, This, then this is useful indeed. 
Raising energy will help dislodge fearful attachment to the, er to the earth plane and allow the presence of spirit to become more real, whilst new ideas and inspirations can impress themselves upon the mind. However, what about those already upwardly mobile, spiritually speaking? Such people already have open and stimulated higher chakras. This tends to mean leaving, I'm sorry, having an open mind and often some kind of belief in spirit or philosophy of some sort that works for them, that helps them feel they have some sort of purpose or valuable contribution to make to the world, even if they are still working out the details of what that contribution or purpose may be. They often have more ideas than they know what to do with. They perceive a lot and are often sensitive to energy, including the thoughts and feelings of other people, animals, and even the earth herself. Yet there can be great frustration in translating those extraordinary perceptions into material reality in the form of projects, tasks, and, clear sense, and a clear sense of purpose made practical. These people will already feel moved by their hearts and have words of wisdom to express. What they need is to be drawn down into the world to be able to find a form through which they can share their spiritual treasures, not push it upwards for more, for more when what re already exists has not been put into full use. Good Lord. This is the gift of the descending power. It is the reorientation of the more spiritually inclined and those that need more physical energy after an illness, long emotional struggle, or other challenge so that vitality can be generated. It brings clarity and refreshment to the mind and allows for the body to feel alive, joyful, and in sensual appreciation for manifested creation. The air, of the, skin, the air on the skin, the scent of flowers, the beautiful sound of birds calling, or the, slight, the sight of a powerful tree. To be able to take in sensory healing from the physical world requires the downward current. There must be descending power for you to feel grounded, to be able to act in constructive and practical ways to support your inspired ideas and to fall in love with life, not just in the fantasy of what could be. Descending power gives you the energy and peace, happiness, and a sense of connection and presence in the world. And okay, and so that makes a lot of sense. So that's actually why this person down here has this Four of Cups with the Divine Wisdom. There is emotional balance that's, uh, uh, there's emotional balance here that um, this person that I guess either is on the rejected end of things or feels like they may be rejected, you get it. And it's not even like you get it because of superficial reasons. It's like you just understand the deeper workings of the, the human psyche. It's almost like, yeah, it's almost like understanding the psychology of the situation. All right, guys. <laughs> well, that was a little bit of a rough message, but I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all have a great day. For those of you who are finishing out your days, I hope you had a fantastic day and I hope you have a great evening and I look forward to connecting with you guys again very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Bye.